Hi there guys, it's uh, Peter Jan here in the Escort Kitchen again and we are still busy with our pulled pork ragu. We are making a pasta from our broken leftover pieces of lasagna. We all have those small pieces in our boxes of lasagna and um, I keep it. And um, we're going to make pasta with it today. So we, you are obviously familiar with our previous recipe and it was our pulled pork ragu. So for today, we've got a pot of beautiful, <laughs> clean, hot water here. And to this, we add salt, enough salt, so the neighbors, when they have their, uh, their dinner, they salt on their plates as well. The water's already boiling, so yeah. Um, what we do is you get your pasta to, your water to boil, your water has to boil. And it's boiling water that keeps your pasta, the pieces, away from each other. Okay, so what we need here, just after you added your pasta, stir it through quickly, once, so all the pieces know that they're not supposed to cling to each other, and that's it. Leave it to boil. Um, you get different kinds of pastas. Some boxes read it's egg pasta, or you just get pasta pasta. This is egg pasta, so it quicks, it quicks faster, cooks, cooks quicker. Then, um, than the usual pasta. So while this is boiling, we've um, got some herbs over here, so we can quickly talk about this because they're here. Uh, we've got some chives, basil, and Italian parsley. This is going to just become a little herb salad on top of the pasta when we are done. So I'm going to chop the chives. I don't like to chop them very finely. I like the look of them when they're still in pieces. It's something a bit different. Also part of the onion family. Uh, basil, you never put a blade to basil. You just tear it up a little bit. It's a very soft, beautiful, aromatic, fragrant. I don't know, I don't have any more words. It's beautiful. Just use it, it's sexy. And then we've got some Italian parsley. This you can chop. You can chop it properly. Okay. We use stems, we use all of it. The days of only using leaves is um, it's over. It's done now. Okay, we use um, everything of the herb, except for the roots, we're not that or, or organic yet. Pasta is almost done. It takes about five to seven minutes. Um, the herbs go back in the, back in the bowl. And then to this, I just add some olive oil, just to dress it a little bit. And we'll give it a small pinch of pepper. We don't do salt to this because the salt will burn your herbs and it will make the basil ugly. Okay, and it will make the spring onion cry. And we don't want that. Little herbs. Okay, so this is our herb salad. So the second your pasta is done cooking and it's in the the colander. Just dress it with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick to each other. It's nice and starchy now and hot. <laughs> so on the stove we just heat a pan. So we still have our ragu from the from the previous situation. Uh, depends on how many people you are feeding. You can do a ladle per person, you can do one and a half, you can do two. Depends on which family is coming to visit or what friends and on what time of the day. So to this, I add the, the water that came from the pasta because it, we need a nice sauce. Uh, just wait until this heats up. I always say look for the bubbles and then it's cooked. Um, we've got Parmesan cheese that we are just going to use to finish the, the, the pasta off at the end. You can use any white cheese, dry, um, you get um, picarino. I don't know the other words, I just know that they all smell the same. We've got beautiful bubbles over here going on. Um, so I just add the pasta. Okay, so we just want all of our pasta leaves to be coated with this beautiful sauce that we've got here. Then I add just a little bit of cream to help the sauce. There we go. That's it. Starts to look like business. Okay, beautiful. The pasta is heated through. 
Um, this looks, this looks proper. That's the word. Mm. A little bit of course salt, and then Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> I got paid to say it like that. Uh, there we go. Just some Parmesan cheese. Some. Say when. <laughs> when. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. And then just a little bit of this herb situation going on top. Everything in here will make this happier. <sighs> it just looks as if I cook for a lot of people, but it's only me. So this is, um, this is mine for the evening. So thank you. Mm. Mm. Just add some lemon. And then um, then you can phone everyone and say you are sick, then you need to go home. Because this is yours. Enjoy. Okay, come on, let's go. Did you cut? You cut now? Okay. No, no. We need to take pictures. <laughs> we need to take pictures. Uh, sorry. We almost finished this. We need to take pictures.